rock climber now? Yeah! Come on! Where are we going? <laughs> Slip at the end there. We're back in Yellowstone. Yeah, that's good. What are we saying about this? As you can probably guess from the title of the video, we are back in Yellowstone for another day of exploration. Uh, we actually changed campgrounds going from our state park near Cody, Wyoming to a state park in Idaho on the west side of Yellowstone. So today we're exploring the west side of Yellowstone, hopefully going to see Old Faithful and everything else that's around here. there. Rachel joined me because she knows where we are in Idaho. We um, just passed the Madison Info Center and we turned off to the Firehole Road. Um, so just a little side road that goes right along the river. You can't take your RV there. Um, but there's waterfalls there's as you waterfalls, saw. And there's a little, we're at a swimming beach right now. Um, so just a little detour off the main course, which is kind of nice. Well, I almost just had a heart attack. Um, well, it doesn't take a lot to scare me, actually. But <laughs> I was just thinking about, we haven't purchased our bear spray yet. We really should have some. And then I turn around and I see that over there. Totally thought it was a bear. It's a burnt tree stump. Freaked me out. <laughs> but we still need to buy that bear spray. <laughs> Uh, not in this. It won't come out of there if we go in. So we are at the Fountain Paint Pot and it just bubbles straight up, but then there's one that just shoots mud all the way up. And the highest I think it's gone is like 10 feet. Yellowstone is one of the largest and most popular national parks that we have, but surprisingly there aren't a whole lot of lunch options, even though the park is so massive. So bring your own lunch. We brought our own build your own adventure lunch, mm -hmm. making sandwiches, tortilla sandwiches, things like that. But right behind me here is the white dome geyser. And I don't know, it's a pretty good backdrop for lunch, what don't you think? hasn't really felt that crowded or seemed that crowded even though we're still at the tail end of summer um, but we've just hit Labor Day weekend and even then it's not too bad but we are 
waiting in a line to get into the parking lot of the Midway Geyser Basin. That huge one, it's so beautiful, it's in all the brochures and books. Um, so this one's really popular, so there is a pretty high demand. We missed a chance to park outside and walk in, but it's not too bad to just wait. You got nowhere to go. Look how much steam is coming. doing all the research for us and reading all the signs. So you're going to tell us a little bit about what the colors are? Yes. So there is red, yellow, green, and blue. Um, the middle is the hottest and the brown is like, I don't know, somewhere like in the middle over here. Um, but there's like microbial whatever thing is, I don't There's know what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> microorganisms that are what the different colors are. And the water mm. is 70 degrees Celsius, about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Really, really hot. If you touch really it, hot. you will be scalded. But it's absolute, absolutely beautiful. Yes. We've made it to the general store at the Old Faithful at the Old Faithful, I don't know. Girls did some shopping, some shirts, and a new hat for Rachel. And now it's time for ice cream because, you know, anytime that there's ice cream, gotta get ice cream. With the saving money on ice cream is you order a double and then you split it for the girls. You save half the money. So I did some hat shopping today. This hat here I have owned since high school. It had that one, that was the style back then, American Eagle, super old, but I love it. But it's time to let it go. And for reference, high school is like in the 2000s. It's old. Or like 1999 maybe. I don't remember when. It's time to let it go. I do have a new hat that Nick bought me for Christmas. I do wear that one sometimes, but I needed another option. I picked this one, I think it's a good pick. What do you think? Am I now in 2008? <laughs> 2018. I don't even know what year it is. I am now in 2018. You're still living a decade ago. <laughs> I really am. Just trying to stay young. What flavor did you get? Buffalo. Buffalo chat? Bu buffalo shit. And it's pretty good. It's like a caramel chocolate. It's really good. What do you get? Moose tracks. Moose tracks? Is that the, what the moose leaves on, on the trail? Yeah, but yes, no. I'm cold. It's ice cream, it's supposed to be cold. My old lady. We're still rolling. Your old lady teeth? 
You can't even say it because it hurts so bad. This is why I don't usually eat ice cream. It looked good. It tastes good. It just hurts me. It's just not good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Usually I do get my own ice cream, but these portions were so big, might as well just steal what the girls have. I feel a little bit left out. Everyone bought new t-shirts or a hat in Rachel's case, and I'm the only one that didn't get anything. I wanted to get a new hat, but nothing, nothing fit right. So I'm the only one that doesn't have a souvenir from Yellowstone. We saved Old Faithful for last, but since we spent too much time in the general store, we actually missed the eruption that we were hoping to get. So now we had to wait an extra hour and 15 minutes or so. We say the next one's gonna be at 4.44. It is 4.38 right now, hoping to get a good spot right up front. But as you can see, it's kind of crowded here already. There's still one more day at Yellowstone. I hope you subscribe. Bye.